Hey everyone, this is Bobo from the Mari server. I'm here to do a video on the new Mabinogi event called the Sky Lantern event. Now this event is rather rather adorable. It is basically you releasing little sky lanterns up into the sky with a bunch of people in Port Cobb. Now it's got its annoying parts too, so I'm going to get right down to how to do this event. Alright, let's go! Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is visit Ascon at the lighthouse in Port Cobb. Normally, he's like forever alone, but today he is swarmed with a bunch of people. Once you talk to him, he's gonna be like, Okay, so you want this uh, event for your main character right here? And you'd be like, Yeah, I do. So go ahead and do that and complete your quest. Once you've done that, you're gonna have a daily quest that basically tells you to give Sky Lanterns to NPCs uh, nearby Ascon right here. It's gonna be a total of four NPCs and uh, you only have to do it one time for each NPC, but I suggest you guys go ahead and give Lanterns to all of them because these NPCs all hold a special little uh, prize. Basically, if you give 10 lanterns to these NPCs, they're going to give you a training seal that gives you 10 EXP training on a specific skill. Now, uh, I don't know about you guys, but that's kind of nice. Unfortunately, you can only get one training seal per NPC for every real day. So that basically means you're capped to only four training seals per real day. Can't really have an infinite amount of training seals and rank up everything in one day. Now each NPC has their own set of training seals. You can go ahead and go on the Mabinogi website and see that list. Because I'm not going to list it off here. It's way too big, this list. Another thing is, if you're having trouble giving the lanterns to the NPC, it is because you have to talk to them twice. Now I know the first time you talk to them, nothing like this will pop up. If you talk to them the second time, this screen will pop up after you click on Give Lanterns. So um, yeah, that is the only way you can see these uh, training seals. You don't want to directly gift it to them by dropping the lantern on their head, basically. If you do the daily and gift these NPCs at least once per day, you're going to have some awesome things unlocked. Now, uh, one of the things is if you gift them in five days, you're going to receive a hero talent training seal. And that's something I guess it's like a training seal for specifically hero talents. If you gift them 10 times, you're going to get another hero talent training seal. And if you gift them 15 times, you're going to get three more of those, plus the Sky Lantern releasing action, which is, I believe, it's just like releasing these lanterns. <laughs> Another thing you can do with this event is to actually release the lantern at a specific time in-game, and that is approximately 10 p.m. in-game. Or more like 10, 10. And then it basically ends literally in 30 to 40 Mabby minutes. Now that's a really short window time, guys. This is the only thing I hate, 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 hate about this event is that you have a very small window time to release these lanterns. If you release them too late or too early, you're not going to get a um, special reward box that can obtain some awesome prizes. The reward box is basically called the Sky Lantern reward box and you can uh, potentially get some, uh, you know, hood wear of like animals, bear, rabbits, raccoon, reindeer, cows. You can get a sky lantern balloon. Um, you can get um, homestead lanterns. You can get a training EXP potions. Uh, you can get materials. And of course the most popular thing of all, potions. Other than that, this event is not so bad despite the really horrible window time for releasing the lanterns. I do really like those uh, lantern balloons, they're rather adorable, they're super super pretty. But I think right now the most important question is how do you get lanterns? Now to get lanterns you gotta kill mobs and the best way I personally will have to say is to go to the kitchen dungeon. The kitchen dungeon pretty much spawns an infinite amount of mobs within that time limit of the dungeon and you can just 
go on and kill them. They've got really high CP, so you'll definitely get drops, um, and they're relatively weak, so it's a, it's a win. You can train stuff in there too if you wanted to. Once you get a um, Sky Lantern kit, you basically need to have a handicraft kit and the skill handicraft to craft it into an actual lantern. And you'll see at the very bottom of the list there is an option that says Sky Lantern, or you can just throw the materials in there and it'll find it for you. And go ahead and craft it, and you'll have your little Sky Lanterns. Now before I forget, it's also very important that you are at the event area when you release the lantern before the event actually starts at 10 p.m. Otherwise, even if you get there after 10 p.m. and before 1040, you will not get a reward box. Alright, so that is basically the lantern event. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe, and like always, stay awesome!